All right, so here we go. So I got some more sprites, and this time I'm going second. And would you look at this? Got change of heart in hand again. This is why change of heart is such such a powerful card. I go ahead and activate Maxi kind of early because I don't know a whole lot about pendulums, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I do not give a fuck about reading pendulums to see what all they do. Um, of course, he's going to summon Baguska. And for whatever reason, I should have, I don't know, I should have tried to do something other than uh, activate the effect to get rid of this. But I mean, I, I kind of had to do that. I had to get it negated. Um, whatever I put out was going to get negated because Baguska was in defense mode. So nothing I could really do there. Um, <clears throat> so I link it off, go ahead and start making my plays. Of course, the perfect time to put carrot out because that's the time when he tried to activate his card. I don't even read the effect of it. I just negated it because fuck them. Um, I don't like pendulum decks, so I don't read what their cards do. But I knew that he was going to activate something because every time when I was trying to make my plays, I was getting interrupted. Um, and then I go into Cat Shark. This is why Cat Shark is good. I know a lot of people don't actually do this play but this is why cat shark is powerful in a gigantic sprite um i basically went into a second gigantic sprite so then that way i can use one of the cards as link material i use the um, sprite elf as link material so then that way gigantic sprite will be at 3200 activate the effect of gigantic sprite um or not gigantic sprite but cat shark to double this card's attack bringing it to 6400 which means my opponent is fucked they are going to die and i'm going to attack them for show for show with the ronin toad because why the fuck not i'm a troll like that take that l hold it ggs my boy